everyone. It's Jennifer at the Lamb Library, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to tell you about some of the great programs we have this month. And I also want to give you a few tips for using our new events calendar, because I know some of you have said you've had a little trouble with it. So to start with, I'm going to tell you uh, about the programs for the younger kids. And so every Wednesday at 1030, I do a virtual story time, which is broadcast live on our Facebook page and YouTube channels, but it's also recorded. So if that time and day doesn't work for you, you can watch it later at your convenience. And to access those, you can find links to the Lamb Library Facebook page and the Lamb Library YouTube channel from our main library website at PueblolLibrary.org. Uh, if you click on locations and go down to the Lamb Library, there are links to our Facebook page and YouTube channel. So that's where you will find all of our virtual programming programs and they do air live, but they will be saved as a recording for later. Um, so for story time this month, the first week, I will be sharing some great new picture books. Uh, the second week will be hugs and kisses for Valentine's Day. And the third week, I'll be doing more new picture books because we've had so many great ones come in lately. I couldn't wait to use them. And then finally, for the fourth week, I will be doing a Black History Month inspired story time featuring African-American authors and illustrators. And some of our rhymes and songs will be inspired by um, African-American American inventors and scientists. So we might do peanut butter and jelly in honor of George Washington Carver's uh, research on uh, uses for the peanut. We might do a space themed rhyme with a uh, countdown to blast off in honor of Katherine Johnson and Mae Jemison, who um, Katherine Johnson was a mathematician who worked for NASA in the early stages of the space program. And Mae Jemison is it was an astronaut. So those will be our story times this month, again, Wednesday at 1030. And then in addition to the virtual story times, um, there is a to-go kit each month um, called an early literacy kit to go, which contains a lot of activities um, you can do at home that help support early literacy. And this is designed as a standalone, but it also complements um, the themes that I'm doing in the virtual story time. So in that kit, um, you get a sheet that has uh, lots of different activities. They're just easy, everyday things you can do at home that don't take a lot of special effort or special supplies. There's some suggested books um, on the back. There are some lyrics to songs and rhymes you can do, as well as instructions for some of the crafts and activities. And most of the uh, materials for those are supplied as well. And it will also include coloring sheets and some other things. And I will go over that in more detail in a program on Wednesday after story time. Now then for the older kids, I do a monthly STEM program that just started last month. It is called Saturday Science and it will be on the either the second or third Saturday of each month at three in the afternoon. And again, it will stream live on our Facebook page or YouTube channel, but you can always watch the recorded version later. Uh, these will uh, include a kit that can be picked up during the week prior to the program of supplies and materials. So you can do the activities along with me. This is intended to be a hands-on uh, science-inspired program to get kids excited about science and do some fun experiments and activities. Last month, we uh, learned about reflection, some of the special effects you can do with mirrors and made our own kaleidoscope. Um, this month, we are doing a snowflake science and frosty experiments. So we are going to learn about snowflakes, how they're formed, why they have six sides, and there are a couple of crafts that go along with that. And then we'll do an activity where we get to watch frost form and try to catch ice cubes with a piece of string. So um, that again will be the um, third Saturday of this month, uh, month on the 20th. And to reserve your kit, you'll need to register through the events calendar or by giving us a call. And if any kits are left after the program, those are available to be picked up on a first come first serve basis. Uh, then we have craft kits for ages um, eight and under. The first two weeks of February, it is a Valentine craft kit with several different little Valentine crafts, including making a homemade Valentine. Um, the latter half of the month is an art themed kit. And then the last week of the month, there is a um, special drum kit. 
So those can be picked up, will be able to be picked up at LAM, and you can always um, double check the events calendar to see which kits are available at any given time or just stop by or give us a call. Right now, moving on to the teen and tween and adult programs. Rachel was originally going to be here to talk about them, but due to scheduling conflicts, she couldn't be here today. So I'll tell you all about her programs. And she does lots of um, great craft programs for tweens and teens and adults. So for the tweens and teens, the first month is a candy origami program. Um, the broadcast, it will be broadcast on Friday the 5th at 2 p.m., and the kit that goes with it can be picked up during the week prior. Um, then the second week, she has a make your own Valentine or Palantine kit uh, using wholesome memes. Uh, the third week is the uh, graphic novel hangout. Um, she does that every month where she talks about a different graphic novel. And this month it is Lois Lane and the Friendship Challenge. So if you like graphic novels or if you're new to graphic novels and want to learn more, there's a lot more than just superhero comics. So that's a great program. And it has a gra craft that goes along with it. She'll be doing Emoji Shrinky Dinks. So you can pick that up during the week prior. Um, for adults, she is doing, Rachel is doing a great no-so heart pillow program. Now for this one, there are limited supplies, so you need to be sure and register in advance to reserve your kit. And again, you can do that through our events calendar or by calling the LAM library. And then uh, we'll have two kits for, two additional kits for teens and tweens. There's a library pen pal kit. Uh, with stationary envelopes and everything you need to write a pen pal and you'll be paired with library staff. So if you pick your kid up from the land library, you will be paired with Rachel for your pen pal. And then kind of along with that, the last two weeks of the month, there will be a kit for making your own quill pen. And then one final program uh, for adults. This is uh, a free legal aid clinic. This is for people who need legal advice but don't have an attorney. And it is this week, um, Friday the 5th, from 3.30 till 5. But this for this one, you have to register. And due to COVID, it is no longer meeting in person. Uh, you register in advance. You leave, give, be sure to provide a phone number. And then an attorney will give you a phone call sometime between 3.30 and 5 on Friday afternoon to talk with you and give you advice. So if you have any questions about that program, you can give us a call. So now I would like to take a few minutes to kind of go through quickly how to use our events calendar. It works a little bit different and it um, takes a few more clicks to get to where you can more easily browse. So we are going to go to screen share so I can show you that. All right, so here's our main page. Again, it's pueblolibrary.org. So the events uh, button is where it's always been right at the top left but as you see our events calendar looks quite a bit different um, when you initially land on it you just see lots of numbers and colored buttons um, the colored dots uh, indicate different age groups um, the white is for the juvenile or the younger kids programs so this is not all that helpful and you don't get any information by mousing over. But if you want to get to where you can mouse over and get information quickly, you need to use the filters. So you can quickly screen for location. So I've selected the LAM library um, age group. I'll select juvenile since that is the group I work with most. And you can even do event type, but we'll leave it like that. So now you see, once you get down to where there are fewer than four events per day, you start to see part of the title, and when you mouse over, information will pop up. So you can, for example, on the Saturday Science Program, you see that one requires registration because there's a register button. If you don't see that button, then registration is not required, and if, to register, you would just Click on that and fill out the form and hit register. And one thing this events calendar does that is really neat that the old one didn't do is you can create a custom brochure. So it will use the filters that I've already put in. So 
click create brochure. You can download or email it. So we'll download it so I can show it to you. Okay, it's downloading. There we go. So there you see, you have, it tells you what range is covered, what location is included, what event types are included, and what age group. Then on the right, you can see it gives you the website and the phone number if you have any questions or need help registering. And so this is nice because you can print out a hard copy to keep with you. Now there is another new thing that I'm really excited about. It just came out Friday. Okay, we're going back to the main page. Go all the way down here. And we have a new program guide. So this is like a little digital magazine. We can open online or you could download a copy and even print it out if you wanted to. So we'll view online, then you can hit full screen to make it bigger. So this is just like a little magazine. And so it has a few articles about what's going on in the library. And then all the different programming kits are listed under each branch. So like here, you'll see that we were recently named a five-star library, which we're really proud of. Um, and our big news is that we now have eliminated overdue fines for most materials. And you can read the article here to find out more about it and which items um, still do have fines and fees. So you'll still want to be sure and get things back before they go to loss status. And then you look through here and un under each branch, we have all the programs and kits that branch has. So, you, so this is great if you don't really know what programs you're interested in and you just want to be able to easily browse. This is really nice. And then you can always go back to the events calendar to register if you need to, or to print out a brochure of the specific programs you're interested in. So again, this is really nice. And this will come out each month and it's posted on our website as well as the district Facebook page. So that's all I have to tell you. I hope that'll make it a little easier for you to find your programs because we really like for people to take advantage of all the programs we offer and all the kits that we put together. And again, if you do attend one of our digital, digital programs, please leave us a comment. Uh, just like you guys, we miss the interpersonal interaction. It's just not quite the same. So we'd love to have, have people comment, ask questions, tell us what you like make suggestions for other programs you might be interested in. Um, and then specifically for my story times, if you want to comment and tell me the name of your child that's watching, I can try to say hello to them and make it a little more interactive for them as well. And plus, we just like to know that people really are watching. And so I hope that was helpful. And again, if you have any questions about our programs or events or kits, just feel free to give us a call or stop by. We are open now for one hour of browsing or computer time. So we hope to see you soon.